And the reason why I keep on saying that correlation is an enemy is that when we move on to some of the more additional complex portfolio management topics, when you start looking at portfolio value at risk, one of the assumptions that is embedded in that analysis is that both volatility and correlations are stable. That both volatility and correlation will show the same trend that we witnessed in the past in the future. And if at a point in time in the future, this relationship or this assumption breaks down, then we're in trouble. We're in trouble because if we calculate risk or portfolio optimization or portfolio allocation using a model that assumes constant volatility and constant correlation, correlation breaks down, the model breaks down. Correlation breaks down, the model goes away. So while VOL creates opportunities for us to exploit market imperfections, to exploit overreaction, to ex exploit times of panic buying or panic selling, correlation on the other side is the element that we're most concerned about as risk managers because while our models work on the assumption that correlation is stable, as you can clearly see here, it is not. 